the brothers and sisters out there dealing drugs, prostituted, the youth of today, come back to your heritage. Come back to your heritage to keep the commandments of God. That's how we clean up this filth. That's how we get rid of this out of our community. One man at a time. If I learn how to treat you as my brother and I see you as a guy, that's what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to steal from you. I'm not going to sleep with your wife. I'm not going to do that. If I see you as my brother, I'm not going to shoot you. I'm going to kill you dead dead in the street. Y'all understand that? Y'all understand? That's why it's important. We come back to God's commandment. I ain't talking about no boo. I ain't talking about what y'all hear on Sunday with that. Well, God, God loves us. He just going to clear out all the values. The change starts with us. Right. We got to bring our communities back together. That's right? right? That's what we got to do. Oh. Matthew 4. Matthew 4. Matthew 4. Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. Bring it out. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent uh -huh. for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Right. Right. Repent. 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 Repent, bro. Repent. Everybody repent. Because we got to come back to our understanding. That's, That's right. the only way we're going to get better. Right. You talking about how the women do whatever they want? Now, that you know the truth, you know a little bit. Come study, learn, build. Right? Watch right. your online, right? Now that y'all know the Maybe truth, who's over the woman? Y'all know. You over your wife? Yes. You over your wife? Yes. You over Right? We'll deal with that. We'll deal with it. Wait, why you look over like that? Why you made that smart? You not over her? We're going to build. This is an excellent opportunity because my brother came up and he said what? He said, what message do you have to the youth? You're a young man. I'm a young man. We all young men out here. We are able to learn. Right? So the, give me first drink. You got what you got for me. Let's get it. Let's get it. You brothers already heard this? Let's build. Because we're going to interact. We're going to deal. And I'm going to ask questions. Bro, that's how I teach. You're going to ask questions about what we just read. Yeah, we You're going to get the edification. You're going to understand. Read. First Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 3. Bring it out. But I would have you know that the end of every man is Christ. So who's your end? All right, God. Jesus Christ, right? Who's, who's, your, who's your end? Who's your end? All right, next verse. And the head of the woman is the man. Is that you a man? Yes. You a man. You a man. All right, read next. And the head of Christ is God. God. Right? So that's the order that God himself, the most high God, set up. If a woman comes to you, like, you don't tell me what to do. How can she do that when you over her? You got a daughter? You got, any of y'all got two? Okay, I'm crazy. Remember what we went over earlier. If you have a daughter, what does she call you? Got it. She calls you dad, right? Your daughter is going to have to call you Say, for the situation, she would call you father. She would look up to you to rule the house, to right. put the mama, put her mama in order, provide, right? And right. Teach her according to this Bible. That's right. Right? So she can prosper. Give me Nehemiah 8 and 8. Is that prosper? That's what I want? Finish it up. Finish it up. Verse 8. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. What do women usually say? I verse. No. Kids come from your loins. They come from your loins. They come from your loins. Right? Right. We are. We are. They just carry it. It's not going to tell you. This is God talking. This is man talking. This is what we talk about. Right? But in our communities, what do you hear? A whole bunch of nonsense. Right. A whole bunch of BS. We talk about football games and all. Meanwhile, homeboy got shot down the street. Old girl got raped, murdered, whatever. That's going on. And then we look out to the so-called white man or the so-called police to solve our problems, right? We're called 911. But before they get there, who should be policing our communities? Us. Us. This is our nation. This is us. Our men have fought. We're going to get that to Give me the free We're going to deal with prosperity. Go ahead. So the reason why a lot of us go to these churches is because they promise you what? Prosperity. How can you do better? Go and read. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 For you. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth So remember what I just said This is man talk We talking about laws We talking about building How to fix our communities, right? How to instruct the youth How to instruct our women How to set things in order right. In order right. Read But thou shalt meditate Therein day and night 
work. So you gonna read this and remember what I told you, young brother. Y'all are what? We are the superiors. Y'all the gods. Yeah, we the gods. Y'all the gods of the earth. God said you the gods. You're a god of the earth. That means you're a judge. You said things right. What? Read on. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Let me ask you something today, right? And this is a recap. I know you all here. Brothers, deal with it. What's wrong with these sisters right here? They're clothes. They're wearing shorts. Okay. What does that pertain to? I forgot the word, but have some. I forgot the word. Hold on. I got you. Your brother's going to get you. My brother's going to get you. They've been here for a minute. I forgot the word. I know where I got you. Hold up. We talked about it earlier. What pertain to the man according to your pants? Oh, our pants. The bridges. Pants. So what are those sisters wearing? They wear shorts. They wear With pants. With some what? With some pants? Yeah. And they wear pants? No, they're supposed to be they... wearing justice. Exactly. Exactly. That's order. That's what the Bible talking about. You meditate therein because now you know good from evil. And now y'all know that puts a manly spirit on that woman. It definitely does. <laughs> read, <laughs> read, read, read. Verse 8. For then thou shalt make Thy way prosperous. That's prosperity. Pastor ever teach you your auntie, your grandma, your, your brother, whatever, talk about prosperity. That's prosperity according to the Bible. Right. right. Commandments. You deal with your brothers and sisters righteously. And that only comes with study. A lot of intensive study. What did I tell y'all brothers earlier? This ain't nothing that y'all ain't heard. Well, y'all supposed to hear the church. You supposed to hear the church. You know what I'm saying? But this is what God, that's what's in the King James Bible. In the back of the U. Sitting there collecting uh, dirt and dust. That's what's in them. How to instruct the black man, black woman, and get them in order. So we can come back and Christ can come back and redeem ourselves. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.